Aries. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be your reading for December 21st to December 31st, 2020. So thank you to all the viewers, all the subscribes, all the comments. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate the support on the channel. So first of all, I'm going to do the Oracle cards here, which are mainly going to be for you, and the Tarot cards are going to be over here. So these will be the energies around you. You may show up in here as well. So I read the cards and you decide who they apply to or your situation. So the first one that comes out for you is cuddling number one. Wow, Aries. So the first one is saying that you are desiring um, human contact, to be around somebody who makes you feel special and warm. So that's beautiful. Um, a lot of feminine energy in that card. So the next one is attitude, desiring belonging. So yes, it's coming out very strong. So first you had cuddling and now you're having de belonging. So a lot of you Aries are looking for your place in the world, I feel. You're definitely ready to be around somebody and have a partner, I would guess, or friends or family for a lot of you. So the next one is fall, the quiet joy of transition. So transition occurs like when the fall comes and the leaves fall off the trees. This is what you're getting ready to go through, I feel. So you're going to probably push away people that aren't for your highest good anymore. You may notice some of your connections aren't as strong as they once were. This is going to mean that you're getting ready to make a big change. That should be your indication and your warning, so to speak, that people who you accepted and were... Um, worthy of your time before something has shifted probably the eclipse possibly so you're not as um, not as accepting of people who are in your life for your highest good anymore let's put it that way so that's beautiful so it's amazing that I almost feel like right here is yin and yang because we have the ivory and ebony cats and then the middle one. So I do feel like there's some yin and yang going on in your life, which means basically balance. The light and dark are getting ready to balance in your life, Aries. That's good. That's really good. I'm sure a lot of you are quite ready for that. So I shuffle all the cards before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle after I turn the camera on. Alright, so here we go. So the first one you have is to a fire. So this tells me that you are thinking a lot and you're looking at the past and you're thinking of what direction you want to go in in your future and I'm feeling like you don't want to make the same mistakes. You want to do things differently. So Ace of C. So you are desiring a love relationship I feel and you're kind of thinking about what you want, what you don't want, and that's good. So the next one is Fire Tom. Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances, somebody who plays with fire. Somebody who just does things and then thinks about them after. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is somebody around you. And then you have the moon. The moon is could mean Pisces placement around you or in your birth chart, but this also means something coming known. This would be another balance card, the light and the dark balancing. Usually this means a secret is getting ready to come undone. Something that was kept from you is getting ready to be known to you now. So death, wow. So this talks about one door is going to close and another door is going to open. So that would have to do with the transition as well. So you're going to find out a secret that is going to shift your perception of something. That something is going to not be in your life anymore. It could be a friend, it could be a job, it could be a car, a phone, anything. Something is going to change. It's probably a person because this is pretty serious. So then you have Six of Fire. So this is somebody who's very selfish. They could be a lead at work or a boss and they just take from coworkers and nobody seems to notice that they're they're not a very good lead. Um, so yeah, something that somebody is just a taker. And maybe they loved you in the past because it's in front of the love card. So then you have Two of Sky. So you had Two of Fire and then Two of Sky. So this is more 
getting ready to think. So let's look at this. So your car, your head is turned on this card right here. So you already know what position you're going to take, and you're looking at yourself looking at the past, I feel. So yes, there's something that you're getting ready to shift and change. And it's going over the card where somebody plays with fire, so I feel like there's something with somebody who has taken from you, or plays with fire, takes chances you wouldn't take, that you're getting ready to either distance yourself from them or not be so receptive to them in your life. So now we have the Earth King. So the Earth King is somebody in heaven acknowledging they're around you. Probably when you're sad, they're trying to make you feel like they're with you. So when you're sad, if you feel like somebody's sitting by you, or trying to communicate with you, that is probably true. So the next one we have is Fire Queen. So Fire Queen is somebody who's angry. Somebody who has a lot of ego, a lot of pride, and she's angry for some reason. So then we have the Sun. Beautiful. This could be Cancer or Leo placement, Aries. So this is happiness. This is happiness coming to you. And this is maybe why this person is mad, is because happiness is coming to you. And I always say, the lower energies know what's coming to you before you do usually. I don't know how they can tell or what vibe they get, but people can tell when good things are coming to other people. So Sky Kitten is somebody who's very immature. They could be annoying. Somebody who's just very immature. So then you have Seven of Earth. So Seven of Earth talks about family. Some sort of family that set up an illusion for you. They said something but they never followed through with it. And you're still waiting and waiting and waiting and they have never followed through with what they said they were going to. So the next one is Grace. Grace talks about you're almost to the end of a cycle which would also go back to transition. You're almost to the end. There's been a lot of emotion, a lot of tears and you're getting ready to find your rainbow. So I'm sure people have tried to knock you off this pathway so to speak. I can't remember where that went. I always lose track. So chariot. Chariot is good. This is communication coming to you or you traveling. You could possibly move, be moving. But this is an action card. Somebody coming towards you or you going towards somebody else. And then you have seven of C. So seven of C is denial. There's some sort of denial that somebody is not seeing. It's right in front of their face and they're refusing to see it. And it maybe has to do with this annoying childlike person. So Ten of C is your happiness. This is the people you go around to make you feel happy, to make you feel secure. Again, this is usually my travel card. So I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati now. So yeah, somebody is coming towards you or you're going somewhere, there's a secret going to be exposed, and somebody is in denial. So it seems how the denial card came out before this happiness that people will make you happy and it's going over the family card. I do feel like you're in denial about somebody in a family situation. So let me cut these cards. This is Tarot Illuminati deck by Eric Dunn and he says that Illuminati to him means the Latin term for a lightning. So it's an enlightening deck. So look at Two of Cups. So this is somebody that wants to, that has a strong feelings for you, or you have strong feelings for somebody else. This is love. And this could mean they could be a doctor, they could be in college, they could be a policeman, a lawyer. I feel like this is a really serious symbol right there. So look at this Four of Wands marriage. So I feel like you're going towards marriage even though you don't see it. So three of wands. So now I take that back. So this could be that somebody in a marriage situation broke your heart. They put other things before you in a marriage and it led to you feeling betrayed. And this is going over the denial card. So I don't know if you're denying how much somebody hurt you possibly. Look at this. Seven of swords. So this is sneaky behavior. This is somebody being sneaky around you. They could be lying, they could be taking, just somebody not being upfront and honest. And again, it's going over the family card. And it could be somebody else's family if it's not yours. So maybe there's a family being sneaky to you. So then I see Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is you 
contemplating how you got here, where you want to go, which we saw that in your first card. So I feel like, again, you're taking a look at your situation and what you want to do with it, how you want to move forward. Ace of Cups, a lot of love coming up in this reading. So if you feel like this doesn't apply to you, there's no way it can apply to every single Aries out there. And feel free to vice versa the masculine and feminine energies. So if I pull a king and you, it would be a queen to you, then vice versa that. So this is love. This is somebody coming towards you that is more your vibration. I see the dove, which is peace. Love, you know, a lot of emotions in check. Peace from the dove. And the water lilies represent um, righteousness to me. Prosperity. On track, so to speak. So the next one is Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords talks about this person who's being sneaky to you is very stressed out. They can't sleep. They are very stressed out. They're staying awake at night over being sneaky to you. Maybe they're afraid you're going to find out. So this is Princess of Cups. So didn't we have another princess before this? No, we had that. So I do feel like this is somebody offering love. This is somebody younger than the person... So there's a age gap in this love offer. So the world, this is beautiful. This says that things are changing, Aries. Your world is about ready to change. Things are going to change. So I don't know if a marriage is going to change your world, but something good is coming to you. And I feel like the universe, your ancestors are guiding you and like, watching you and pushing you to a certain direction. I do see a Taurus in there and a Leo as well if that pertains to you. And then we have Queen of Cups. So look, here we have Princess of Cups and we have Queen of Cups. So this could pertain to a younger version of you and an older version of you. So this could be you in the past and then your world is changing and this is you now. So I feel like this is telling me your love is more mature now than it was before that you are very honest you're very loving so nine of wards this nine of wands this is somebody who's very defensive they're not going to let lower energies come in and mess up their life they're not going to let somebody come in and tell them they love them and then mess up their whole life so this is good you are offering love, but you're not going to offer love to where it is going to hurt you or your life in any situation. You're very particular and princess of swords. This is somebody wanting to talk to you. Somebody wanting to communicate, and I feel like you're on guard. You are very on guard. You will talk to them, but I feel like you're going to watch what you say to this person. So then you have ten of swords. So I feel like somebody feels like you stabbed him in the back or you feel like somebody has stabbed you in the back ten times and usually when there's ten of swords it's an ending it's like an overkill if you will somebody went to a very very big extent to make sure they put ten swords in somebody's back so look at this ace of swords this says to me they want a second chance they are going to come back in and sweet talk you they could be attracted to you they could just want physical attention from you but somebody is coming in to sweet talk you and they probably do have physical attraction to you and sometimes this can work and sometimes it can't so you have to use your intuition what you felt when you saw this card or when somebody comes back if it applies to you and offers you a second chance how you feel about it so the next one is a strength card this would be Leo I am getting a lot of Leo in this reading Aries for whoever that may pertain to and this is strength so Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very secure with the money. Somebody is good with the money organization. This queen can make it on her own. She doesn't need somebody. So when this queen offers love to somebody, she truly desires this person. She doesn't just offer love to anybody. So this is somebody who's very dependent on themselves, on making their life work. And then you have the King of Wands. Oh, that was Pentacles. So I, was, I thought that was a King of Wands. So this is a king who's an action king. This is a king who does things he says he's going to do. He's very loving, very nurturing. He, he can fix cars. He can fix the cable on the TV. He can take his mom to dinner. This is a king who can do a lot of things on his own. He doesn't need other people. So these are kind of a match, I feel. 
because you are secure on your own and he is as well. So maybe you have a King of Wands coming into you. So Seven of Cups is somebody having opportunities. So somebody has a lot of different opportunities in their life to date, I feel. It could almost be an illusion, like somebody's trying to make you confused by offering you a lot of options. So I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards now for you, Aries. So like I said, if you were a king and not a queen, then just do the Queen of Pentacles as a king. You know, just vice versa. That's really the only thing you can vice versa. You decide where the cards would apply, but the king and queen you can vice versa. So the first one is trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So this is healing. This is that you are healing. The universe is, has instilled trust in you that you understand your intuition is what guides you through life. Your intuition is what is going to bring prosperity to you. It's going to keep the bad people away. So pay attention to your inner voice. The next one is love. I commit to the practice of seeing all the good in all things. This is awesome because I usually don't get love readings and this is a love reading. Love is coming into some of you. I mean cuddling, belonging, transition, trust, love. This is healing and a lot of passion. That is beautiful. So the next one of the soul's journey lessons is surrender. I can release my need to control. So control is hard for a lot of people to let go of, especially Aries. But I feel like when this card comes up, it reminds me of a Petri dish. And in a Petri dish, when they put things in it, it grows really fast. So I do feel like somebody is going to come into you and they're going to make you feel so loved and safe and secure. And they're going to, you're going to trust them right away that it's going to, it's going to grow really fast. And I think you've been having a couple of love readings, gosh, the past couple of weeks. And everyone was like, oh, it doesn't apply to me. But trust me, sometimes there's people around you trying and you just closed off and you don't see. Or people trying to flirt and you don't see. So try to be aware of your surroundings when you go places. And just pay attention to people smiling at you and watching you. So the first one of the... Whispers of the Ocean, excuse me, is facing your fears, 46. So 10 is a ending, so something new can come in. And this represents Leo again. I'm getting so much Leo in this reading. So this says, look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and rather stay peaceful and calm in knowing who you are. So when you get fearful, you have to stay calm because you have the strength is what this card says. And this light is a lionfish. He will puff himself out and make himself really big if his his family or his home is, is threatened. So I feel like you're going to face your fears. And if you have to fluff yourself up to stand up to somebody or puff yourself up and say back off, you have the strength to do it. Intuition and facing your fears is going to push you forward. So shedding the old 38. If you add these numbers... This would be 11. 11 is a master number when it's the same digit twice. So you can Google numbers and learn the, the vibration of them. I, I haven't said that for a while, but once you learn the vibration of numbers, then you can incorporate into other things in your life, like vibrations of food you eat and, and crystals and stuff like that, what's good for you and what's not. But this basically is a lobster, and it talks about how you... They shed their exoskeleton, basically. So you are going to be shedding that which is not good for you. And we have that all over this reading. Whoever is not for your highest good is getting ready to be left behind this year. They're done. Like I said, you may not push them out of your life completely, but you will keep them at arm's length. So you are getting ready to push away that which is not good for you. And you are more aware of what's not good for you than ever. We're all we're getting ready to shift on 1221. And things are going to be different. It'll take a while for everything to balance out, but it will start shifting then. So if you feel uncomfortable or weird, some of you will feel happy. Some may feel stressed out and sad. Just be aware. It's, it will pass. It's temporary. But I didn't get that in this reading. So beautiful. The first one for you of the angels and ancestors is the sun. This is the happiest card in all the decks. The sun card is the most prosperous 
the beautifulest in all the decks. So this is beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Aries, who this would apply to. So happiness is coming to you. It's almost like you have to do these steps, though, to bring this to you. So you have to learn to trust, listen to your inner voice, surrender to love, shed the old, and protect yourself facing your fears. Don't be so fearful, but happiness is coming. And the next one is Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. So you have a lot of gifts I feel you don't realize you have. The number one gift I'm going to say that you have is animals. You seem to be able to communicate with animals. And some people get along on this earth better with animals than they do with humans. You'll notice there's a lot of people who have dogs and cats, and that can be their best friend. You see posts all over the internet of my best friend is a dog, my best friend is a cat. There's nothing wrong with that. If you can't find the right tribe people or soul people to be around you, there's nothing wrong with having animals as your best friends. Animals won't betray you, and they're so loving to you. So animals can build you up. I do feel like the wolf in here is kind of lone wolf um, power. I see the snake, which would be shedding the old as this because snakes shed their skin. I see the eagle, or is that a hawk? I think it's an eagle. So eagles represent an eagle eye view of seeing things from above and seeing your target or what people are doing to you on a crisper viewpoint. I also see the moon in there and over here. And so you have a blue moon and a regular moon. So something could have happened back in the blue moon. I think it was in October that could be affecting you now. So I do see a lot of beautiful things. The feathers represent the universe and it looks like he has a fox shawl on almost and I've never noticed that before and also the jaguar eye so this is a lot of things um, shape-shifting so you have more power to see what you're not seeing it makes me think of the denial card I feel like you are going to so maybe you're raising your vibration with the sun and you're gonna see things differently and try to see things like learn about animals. Like maybe Google the wolf tonight and see what what pertains to you. The common denominator you might have as a wolf or the common denominator you might have with an eagle that relates to your life today. So I hope this helps you. This was a beautiful reading, Aries. And I, I wish and I hope that true love would come into all, all the Aries that are seeking it. So... Thank you so much. Bless you, Aries.